Hello friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we will learn about sliding window maximum problem. Problem statement given an array and an integer k. We need to find maximum for every contiguous subarray of size k. For example, if I have array this and k is given to be 4, then we need to tell the maximum in every subarray of size 4. For example, in the first subarray, maximum is 10. Then, in the next subarray, maximum is 10. In the third subarray, maximum is again 10 and so on. Method 1 to solve this problem is to use two nested loops. Outer loop takes all the subarrays of size k and the inner loop finds the maximum in each of the subarray. Coming on to the code, this code is taken from Geeks for Geeks. So there is an outer loop that runs from 0 till less than equals to n minus k that is total number of windows and then for each window that begins from index i we find the maximum in it by running a loop from j equals to 1 to less than k. This method 1 has time complexity of number of windows that is i minus k plus 1 into size of each window that is k. So time complexity of method 1 is big O of n into k. Method 2 to solve this problem is that we start by creating a self-balancing binary search tree of the first k elements that is the first subarray of size k. After making that self-balancing binary tree we run a loop from i equals to 0 to n minus k. This i defines the starting index of each of the window. So for the first window I print the maximum element of BST that is that is the maximum element of that first subarray then to move to the next window I remove the first element of the previous window that is of the current window because when we move from one window to the next only one element is deleted and one element is added that one element to be deleted is array of i so that is searched and deleted from the BST and then in the next step we insert array i plus k that is the new element to be added in the next window into the BST. This first step takes big O of k into log k. This is the time complexity to make self balancing binary search tree for k elements. Then this step to print the maximum element in BST of of size k is to make is big O of log k then searching and deleting again takes big O of log k time inserting takes big O of log k time these three steps run for n minus k plus one time because they are in a loop so overall the time complexity for method 2 is k log k and plus n minus k plus one into log k solving this we get method 2 has time complexity big O of n into log k. Coming on to method 3 to solve this problem, this method uses dq and it is much much more efficient than the previous two methods because the time complexity to solve the problem using method 3 is just big O of n. In method 3, we start by creating a dq qi of capacity k, that is the size of subarray. This dq stores only useful elements of the current window. What do we mean by useful elements? An element is useful if it is in current window and it is greater than all the other elements on left of it in the current window. To better understand it, we take example of this array of size 9 
k is given to be 3 so we make dq of capacity 3 then let us assume that this is the output window we start by taking the first sub array in the original array the sub array is of size 3 we directly insert the first elements index into the dq so we insert 0 in the dq then we move to the next element whenever we move to the next element in current window we need to perform this step which says if array of i that is 2 is greater than the element represented by back of the dq that is array of 0 is 1 since 2 is greater than equals to 1 we need to pop from back of the dq so we pop 0 and we insert 2 into the we insert the current elements index into the dq that is 1 next step is to move to the next element and when we move to the next element in current window we perform this step so we see 3 is greater than equals to 1 so again I mean 3 is greater than equals to array of 1 that is 2 so we again pop from back of the queue now we insert current elements index into the DQ that is 2 now the window shifts and whenever we move to the new window we need to perform these two steps first is to output array of qi dot front so we output array of 2 that is 3 and then we need to remove all the indexes in the dq that are not in the current window so we start from front of the dq and see which all indexes are not in the current window 2 is the part of the current window so we move on the next step is to see whether array of i that is 1 is greater than equals to array of 2 that is 3 since 1 is not greater than 3 we do not need to pop things remain as it is and then we insert into the queue the current elements index that is 3 then the window shifts and whenever the window shifts we need to have these two steps that is output array of qi dot front qi dot front is this array of this is 3 and then next step is to remove all the indexes in dq which are not in the current window so we start from front of the queue 2 is in the current window so we move on next step is if array of i that is 4 is greater than equals to array of qi dot back which is 1 since 4 is greater than equals to 1 so we pop from back of the queue now we see 4 is greater than equals to back of the queue that is array of 2 is 3 4 is greater than equals to 3 so we pop from the queue again and after that we insert the current elements index into the queue into the dq next step is to move the window forward and whenever we move the window forward we output array of qi dot front so we output array of 4 that is 4 and then we start from front of the queue and remove all the indexes not in the current window 4 is in the current window so we move on next step is again this array of i that is 5 is greater than equals to array of qi dot back which is 4 so we pop from the dq next step is to insert the current elements index that is 5 now the window is shifted and whenever the window is shifted we perform these two steps that is output the current element and array of 5 is 5 so we output it and then starting from front of q we remove all the elements not in the current window since, since the index 5 is in the current window we move on to perform this step array of i that is 2 is greater than equals to array of 5 that is 5 so we this is false so do not pop from the dq and insert the current elements index 
Next step is to move the window forward and whenever we move the window forward we perform these two steps that is output qi.front array of qi.front is 5 and then we remove all the elements not in the current window from the dq. 5 is in the current window so we move on to perform this step array of i that is 3 and array of qi.back that is 2 3 is greater than equals to 2 so we pop now 3 again is greater than equals to 5 it, this is not true so we do not pop and insert the current index in the dq as always then the window is shifted and we perform these two steps again that is output array of qi.front qi.front is 5 array of this is 5 we output it and starting from front of q we remove the elements not in the current window 5 is not an index car in the current window so we pop it then 7 is in the current window so we move on to perform this step array of i 6 is greater than array of 7 that is 3 so we pop it and insert the current elements index into the dq that is it at last we need to output array of qi dot front that is 6 so for this array we got the output as this coming on to the code taken from geeks for geeks the print kmax function takes as input the array its size and k we start by creating a dq of size k and then for the first sub array we run the loop from i equals to 0 to less than k that is all the elements of the first sub array and perform these steps that is whenever while the q is not empty an array of i is greater than equals to array of qi dot back we pop it from the dq we are doing this because we do not want to keep any elements index that is we do not want to keep any element that is smaller than the current element and is to the left of it so there is no need to keep that element in the dq because that will be of no use for the windows coming after that at last we push the current element index we repeat this procedure for all the elements in current window in the after the first window is over we move from i equals to k to less than n the i indicates the first i indicates the last element of all the coming windows now for rest of the windows we start by outputting the front element of the dq and then performing this step that is whenever the q is not empty and qi dot front is less than equals to i minus k that is we remove all the elements from dq that are not in the current window so we do qi dot pop front these two steps and after doing these two steps we come on to the usual step that is if q is not empty dq is not empty and array of i is greater than equals to array of qi dot back we pop from the dq and at last we push the current elements index and after this we output array qi dot front time complexity of method 3 using the dq is big o of n because every element of the array is added or removed at most once so in total we have two n operations so therefore time complexity is big o of n a space complexity for this problem is big o of k because we used a dq of size k thank you for watching please leave us your likes and comments if you have any doubts leave the doubts in the comment section also do subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to receive updates of all the new contents on our channel. Thank you.